Hi, in this small video, I'm going to argue why we should use Python 3 instead of Python 2, uh, and also why we should use JupyterLab instead of Jupyter. My name is Jayashree Ravi. I am from Moby Bootcamp. So you must have read a lot of articles on the internet uh, arguing why we should use Python 2 over why we should use Python 3. And you may be pretty much confused, okay, which one to use, Python 2 or Python 3, because arguments are pretty strong on either side. And here is my argument. Well, the very first, the most important aspect of it is that Python 2 is being officially phased out. In the next several years, it's not going to be there anymore. There's no maintenance and it's going to be out. So that is one strong, good enough reason to learn Python 3. And especially if you're a newcomer into programming or data analytics and trying to learn Python for the first time, why learn a language which is going to be phased out anyways? Instead, learn Python 3 because that's going to be replaced. Python 2 is being replaced by Python 3. And that has a better future because every development is uh, developmental effort is being put on Python 3 as of today. And Python 3 is a better written software too, taking care of many bugs which were present in Python 2. Well, are there any disadvantages, you may ask, if by using Python 3? Well, there is one strong disadvantage, and that is there are more th third-party libraries for Python 2 today than there are for Python 3. Uh, especially in machine learning algorithms. However, as the days roll by, that gap will keep on reducing because all those algorithms which are not present in Python 3 are being um, are being written and, and it's going to be available in the next several years to come. By the time you're proficient and ready to use those algorithms, it would potentially be there. Next, between JupyterLab and Jupyter, which one to use? Well, Jupyter is again a pet uh, ID for a lot of people, especially in data analytics. Uh, it's a really great notebook um, and it's free. So people definitely like to use Jupyter. Um, but however, uh, here also, Jupyter is officially being phased out and being replaced by Jupyter Lab. Jupyter Lab is still in beta though. So they, it is not yet stable. Occasionally you might have some inconsistencies, uh, some bugs but it's still okay to start working with Jupyter Lab because I have been working with Jupyter Lab and I've really not come across a whole lot of issues um, for me to uh, dampen my interest on using Jupyter Lab and move over back to Jupyter. Uh, definitely you should give that a try as well. And Jupyter Lab is more designed towards being a full-fledged IDE and there are many features which are available in Jupyter Lab, which were which were not there in Jupyter. It makes you that much more productive by just simply using Jupyter Lab. You will realize that. I mean, if you are a Jupyter um, developer and you move over to Jupyter Lab, instantly you will realize so easy and um, so effective and so efficient you're going to be just by using Jupyter Lab. Uh, when you want to open a raw file like CSV, it makes it that much easier in Jupyter Lab because first of all, you can open it. And secondly, it opens blazingly fast. Even a very large file opens really, really fast in Jupyter Lab compared to opening the same file in Excel or any other software. And it also has a terminal uh, which is built integrated into the system. So you don't have to open a separate terminal, especially if you want to download or update um, uh, any softwares that you already have, like any of the modules that you already have, if you want to uh, upgrade on that, or if you want to simply download, it's so much easier to simply use the terminal and download in JupyterLab. Well, that is in brief uh, an argument of why you should use Python 3 and why you should use JupyterLab. I hope um, that you also uh, feel the same as what we feel. Um, we at Moby Bootcamp are in a continuous uh, endeavor to uh, make things easy for especially noobs. Um, and in, to that end, we have released a free ebook. And uh, this is the URL for the ebook http colon forward slash slash uh, ebooks.mobibootcamp.com slash python uh, slash index.html. Definitely give it a try. We cover Python 3 for noobs specifically. Uh, and we also use Jupyter Lab in this book. 
Uh, so give it a try. And if you have any feedback, do not hesitate to give your comments on YouTube or Kaggle. We, already, we also have a Kaggle kernel, which you can fork and which you can uh, play around with uh, by doing those exercises in, in the book. Um, all feedbacks are welcome. Thank you.